Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to be installing a yard drain, French drain, uh, downspout drain. Quite a long line, about 300 feet. You can see some of our material out here. And what has happened here is someone's already been here before. And unfortunately, they really did a terrible job. As you can see, their pipe has been left open and now it's kind of a worthless trench. Looks like they actually got stuck in here. And we're gonna to have to run a whole new line all the way from the very back, in the very back here, and connect all these downspouts. You can see it's just a real mess. Somebody just left it really bad here. But we're gonna connect a couple of downspouts, three here, one underneath that porch, bring the line all the way down, not, not through their trench because that trench is now worthless and send it all the way out to the street. So we're also going to be hooking up a downspout on, on the other side of the uh, driveway. We're gonna cut that drive to asphalt drive. We'll cut the drive and then run the trencher down through here. A lot of things to move, wood pile, but we need to bring that line from the downspout right down through here, cut across this driveway out, and either connect to our new line or send the new line out to the street. Got Derek looking for the other side of that asphalt drive because we have to cut across that drive. So let's get started. You know, we're gonna start trenching here in the back of the yard. Um, you know, this is a project that the homeowner could do themselves. The magnitude of the job, the length of the job, doesn't really matter. The secret is to keep working. We have a crew of three guys here. It took us about four and a half hours to complete. So while I'm trenching, I've got one of the guys started on cutting the asphalt drive. We are using a partner saw, a concrete saw, with a diamond bit blade. It works just like cutting concrete, but asphalt's a little easier. We keep on trenching, 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 about 300 feet here. So Paul's made a cut across the asphalt drive and you can see what we've done is use the pry bar, just crack it just like we do concrete. You need to pry it up, Paul, with the, with the bar, just like you do concrete and just pop it right out of there. Then we'll run the trencher down through here. A little bit narrow, but it'll work. Yep, looking good. Perfect. Then we'll just throw all this asphalt right over here in the dumpster. Printing across the driveway, whether it's asphalt or concrete, really doesn't make any difference. It's the same as trenching in the yard. The difference is you need to keep your trencher running very straight. Okay, so we've got the main portion of our trench dug. You can see it runs all the way back around behind the house there to the patio. We're coming down. Now we're making a turn. We're going right alongside the driveway. Have to be really deep here. We'll connect the driveway where Paul cut across there. You can see that. Pretty bright over there. <laughs> we'll hook up that front downspout. Go around these trees. And then we'll go on out to the trailer. So total trenching time here has been about an hour and a half. And you can see we're really deep down here. You can see how deep Derek's standing down below his knee there. And this is really the slowest part of the, of the job is cleaning this trench out. We've got the, the uh, trenching shovel and it just barely fits in there, but it's a long ways down. So it makes it really hard to get all that dirt out of there. And again, we have to be deep because it's low back there in the back by that flag. That's the low spot. There'll be a catch basin there. And the, the grade of the yard actually comes uphill as it comes around the corner of this driveway. We're real deep along the side of the driveway and again, deeper and deeper until it starts to go down the hill. 
So we're going to hook up an existing downspout. First thing we're going to do is cut off a piece of pipe, about four inches, five inches long. Just cut right through it. Then we're going to split this pipe in half all the way through. And what this is going to be is going to be our insert, which will hold the two pieces of pipe together. So back in this bush is where we're going to put the put this pipe together. You can see Paul cleaning it out. He's going to squeeze that piece of pipe together. So we're squeezing this little insert really, really tight, super tight together, and then we'll slide it inside the existing pipe. Got to get it really tight together. There you go, good. Now we're going to bring the other line over, the new line, and we just push it right up on there. It should snap right in place. A little bit of adjustment sometimes, but you'll get it. Squeeze your insert. There it goes, perfect. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and just lay this on down through the trench. You can see the trench goes down underneath this bush. Throw a little dirt on it to get some weight on it so it doesn't come apart, but that, that little insert really snaps together tight. It's pretty hard to pull it apart. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just lay our pipe on down through the trench. Basically, we just walk it down in, sink it down to the bottom. And go all the way to where we're gonna make our next connection, which is a T. Little cable wire that we need to go under right there. We just pull it underneath. Two guys works better than one. Perfect, it's all good. Just drop it down the trench, we're good. <clears throat> so we're installing a 12 by 12 catch basin. We just need to pull out these screws, take this lid off, and it has pre-installed inserts that are gonna hold our pipe together. They just push them in and twist them, and they lock in place. This side has a cap on it, but it pops right out. It's supposed to. Pops right out. It has little nipples that are graded, tapered. They slide into the slots. Then you just twist it, and that's done. Okay, so we've connected our pipe from the downspouts on the back corner under that bush. You can see our trench comes down. Here's our pipe. We're getting ready to cover. But I just wanted to show you the line itself and some of the connections. We had to go under the cable wire. And here we've got a T. That T picks up downspout there line comes down we've got a catch basin big 12 by 12 with a cool looking grate on the top of it I like that grate and we've got another T that's coming back picking up this downspout and you can see there's another line there on the side two downspouts a double downspout here on the corner not sure why they did that but they did and then we've got our line that runs down the trench and you can see it's starting to go deeper 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 because we're actually walking uphill so we had to make our pipe go downhill you can see down here on the corner it really goes down in the ground we're down there about three feet coming up to where we're going to make another connection and Paul's just cleaning out the rest of this trench it's got a lot of roots through there it makes it really tough to clean but it'll be great Okay, so here's the corner downspout. This is an important downspout. Picks up the entire front of the roof. Comes down. We're going under the drive, so we're running some PVC under here so that they could easily drive over it. Switches back to corrugated. Comes around. This is the line from the back here at this T. All comes together. Great fall coming down the trench. 
goes all the way out and we'll discharge down there, make a little V-cut in the curb. So lastly, we're gonna go ahead and make a V-cut in this curb and we've come to an expansion. The expansion's right here. We'll use that for part of our V. So let's go ahead and fire up the saw if we have enough fuel. This is gonna get dusty. Now we're just going to pop this loose. There's one piece. Trying to do this with one hand, to show you how easy it really is. Pull our pieces right out. and we'll clean this out. I just need to use both hands. <clears throat> so you can see our V cut right into the curb, brings it out. We're just gonna set our pipe right here. And we're just gonna cut a little bit into the curb, so we'll cut it right here. You'll notice that I kind of taper it just a little bit to help it get out here. And what we don't want is water come down this hill and come back into our, to our system. But there you have it, a little V cut. Pipe comes down. So here's our trench with our installed French drain. Actually, this is called a yard drain. French drains have gravel perforated pipe. This is all solid pipe. Comes from the downspout under, under the drive. You can see our PVC pipe up here. Connection here. This is coming from the back. Comes around. Runs all the way back, and the guys are starting to cover. So Paul's covering up the back, making quick work of it. We've got our downspout, our T, picking up the roof. Comes down, picks up some more downspouts. We've got a catch basin here in the low spot, and it may look like it's high here, but this is actually grade, and we're about four inches below grade right here, so when we backfill, it'll really drop into the system. Covering up the rest of it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Trains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Ah.